Hey guys, what's up? James Penrose here for video for video 67 on my channel. And to be honest, I wasn't going to do this. I was actually going to do this video um, last night, but in all honesty, I really couldn't be bothered to do it because I was legitimately pissed off. So I'd wait till now to do it, and now's the right time to do it. Uh, this video is going to be a review of the England game last night against Italy. As you can tell from the title down below, um, England, as I predicted, and it's predictable shit. England ended up losing 2-1 to Italy in a game where Italy didn't play at their best. But my scenario of this game is that England just full-on let Italy won. It's as simple as that. I'm, I'm going to go over chances and goals and stuff and what happened. Um, attacking in the... Well, the first of all, before I get into that, I want to say the formation choice of Roy Hodgson. Like, he picked the right squad. He picked the right players without a doubt. What I didn't agree with, though, was the formation. I believe he went 4-2-3-1 with... Sturridge is the only centre forward in with the three attacking midfielders of Sterling, Welbeck and Rooney behind him. And like that, that's fucking stupid. Wayne Rooney, if anyone's got any common sense, they would know that Wayne Rooney is not a winger. No chance in hell. He is not a winger. He's a centre forward. I would have had, I would have kept it simple. I would have kept it to the basics and make it simple so that we can have a chance of actually like getting forward a little bit more and attacking more. Like We did attack, but... I would have had a simple 4-4-2 formation where you have Stur Sturridge and Rooney, the both two centre forwards supporting each other, with Welbeck on the left and like maybe Sterling on the right or something, and then like have Gerrard and Henderson in the centre. Like I would have done that, but Rooney is a winger. Come on, it doesn't fucking suit him, all right. And even Roy Hodgson said no that, but no, let's put him in a position he can't play in. No wonder he had a terrible game. Um, the assist he let, did with the goal, though, that was brilliant. I'll get into that later, but onto the game. Um, England started really, really well, actually, I'm not going to lie. Um, first shot on goal we had was, like, I believe it was from either Sterling or Sturridge, whoever it was. But one of them two, I believe it was, hit an, a 35-yard screamer. I thought it was in. It hit the side netting. When it hit the side netting, I thought it was a goal. From our angle, I thought it was the goal. I was going fucking pumped. I was like, fucking get in! Until I was like, what? They're not celebrating. I'm like, oh, has it not been given? But then the typo came up on the screen and it said 1-0 to England. So I'm starting celebrating again, get in! Until I realised, yeah, it hit the side netting. So it wasn't a goal. Um, that scoreline error, that production error trolled me big time. Um, I don't know if any of you thought it was a goal. I certainly did, but it was no goal. Um, we had another shot after that. Henderson had a shot from distance. It was a good save by the keeper. Buffon didn't start to last night because uh, he had a last-minute injury, so they had to replace him. But in all honesty, what my biggest concern in this game was when you have the players like De Rossi, like Chiellini, and De Rossi. More importantly, Pirlo. When you've got players like him, whenever he has the ball, whenever he sees a player making the run, he will instantly, at the snap of a finger, just pick him out. Like it's like it's the easiest thing in the world to do. Like it, it, he's capable of that. He really he is, and, and we showed that he showed that last night what he can do. Um, and it, they they made it too easy when it, when when the Italy ki players came forward came forward. We, we tried to do what Italy did. It's like when we came forward, you you know they were closing us down well all over us in, in their half. Whereas in when um, Italy were attacking, we gave them all the space in the world to try and find gaps to. Try and get into the box, trying to cross balls in. We made it too easy. We just let them get in. We just let them attack easy. And when we had our chances, um, we had a great chance with um, it was a good ball in that from the flank. Um, I believe it was Sterling who crossed it in. I believe it was either Welbeck or Sturridge that almost headed it home to an open goal, but some last minute defending by the Italians kept it out for a corner. Um, but long on, not long after that, I believe. Um, it was the Italians who got the opening goal, um, a short corner, um, it was a short pass to Pirlo, Pirlo let it go, and I can't remember the, the player's name, um, whoever it was, I can't remember his name, comment down below and tell me his name, but he hit a 25 yard screamer, made it look like it was the easiest thing in the world to do, bottom corner, Joe Hart with no chance in the world, and to be honest, that was not Joe Hart's fault that he didn't save that, it was the defender's fault, because... Joe Hart was like surrounded by a bunch of his own defenders who was like standing in the way of the shot. So by the time the ball came so close to its hands, it's like you couldn't even tell where the ball was going to go. Like honestly, the defenders, they were so unorganised in this game. Like when he had the ball, he had all the space in the world. He's like, he would have had enough time to go, huh, right, where should I put the ball? Huh, right, I have all the time in the world. Oh, there you go. 
bing, bottom corner. That, that's what it felt like to me. It was unbelievable. It was pathetic. That 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 stuff off the training ground. That is how they do not do their homework with the defending is stupid. Um, but the positive about this is is that we did shoot up right down your end. We responded perfectly. Um, it was a great ball down the far side to Rooney. Rooney with a good run crosses it down to Sturridge with a brilliant half volley finish into a fairly open net. It's one one and I'm going fucking ballistic. Um, honestly, I marked out like crazy. It's one one and I'm like, all right, we can forget about that horror of a defensive showing. We've come back and let's forget about that and let's move on. Um, before the half ended, Balotelli had an amazing chance to go put the Italians in front again. I believe he had a shot. Joe Hart came out and saved it. Balotelli still had the ball and Joe Hart was still off his line by a clear mile. So Balotelli decided to chip it and it was a delightful chip. But it was headed off the line by Phil Jagielka. And honestly, that could have easily been a goal right there. What was Joe Hart doing off his line for so long? I don't know. Um, risky stuff right there. That could have easily been a goal. And I'm, I'm surprised they didn't even use goal line technology for that. Because that could have easily been a little bit over, over the line. I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't even use it once. But no, nah, it was nowhere near a goal. So half time came, it was 1-1, uh, convincing scoreline, I'm thinking, you know what, we've had our fair share of attacks and chances, yeah we've let them come on to us too easily, but you know what, I'm thinking we might have a chance at getting the draw out of this. I mean, I, I had no hope before the game, I, I, if, you, if, if, you, if you see my predictions video, I said, oh 4-0 to Italy, we have no hope and it's just going to be predictable. Well, half, when half time came, I'm thinking, hey, you know what, they might prove me wrong here, they might prove me wrong. Well, that, that thought just... Blew out of my mind right after the 50th minute. Five minutes from the restart. With a cross came in. I believe it was Chiellini again or someone. I don't know. Crossed it in. And who's there but Super Mario Balotelli. Comes home again to deliver a header. It was too easy. He has he has the perfect height enough to get a header on it. But it was too easy. He had, again, enough space to get a header into the near post. And it was 2-1 to Italy there. And as soon as that happened, I knew there was no coming back. But we still did have our chances. And the best chance of them all had to be when Wayne Rooney found himself in the box, again with all the space in the world this time, and I'm thinking, go, hit it at the far post, go for the far post. But no, he had to try and hit it at the near post, and he struffed it wide. Honestly, I was deflated right there. That was a that was the best chance of the match, in my opinion. Um, Ross Barkley came on as a substitute, and to be honest, he showed why he should be a first-team player, because he definitely made... A great effort to try and save the game for us. Like he had a shot from distance, which was, which was a pretty good shot, saved by the goalkeeper. Um, I believe there was a pen, a penalty claim when Steven Gerrard got taken down. I believe. Uh, to be honest, that did look like a penalty. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he got the ball perfectly. Whoever tackled him. Um, but yeah, um, we had a free kick, um, which Leighton Baines took. It was a good save by the keeper again. Um, but honestly, the the crosses in the second half were unbelievable. Glenn Johnson was in the middle of nowhere, honestly, like he was in Kaka Cuckoo Land. Wayne Rooney from a corner, just taking a regular corner, bing, out immediately. What the hell? Oh, you assisted one goal, that makes you man of the match. No, does it, fuck. Does it, honestly. That man, if, if I have to pick any England player for man of the match for this game, it would have to be Raheem Sterling. He, from start to finish, did not slow down one bit. He made 100% commitment to try and get something out of the game. He's a great attacking player who will make a threat towards the Italian defence, towards any defence, in trying to score or assist a goal. I mean, we saw that last night. I mean, it makes all the sense in the world. If he doesn't start against Uruguay, I will be pissed off. Um, <sighs> Full time came. We lost 2 1. In all honesty, it was not the Italians' best performance. It was an average performance by the Italians. But my scenario of this game is that. We could have easily won this. We had all we had enough chances to win, to score more, more than one goal, maybe more than two goals. Um, but we just let the Italians come on to us too many times and we found ourselves on the wrong end of two conceding goals. Um, and we've got big shoes to fill now in our group, seeing as how Costa Rica pulled off a surprise upset against Uruguay by three goals to one. And the only silver lining in this defeat is that we are not last in the group. That is Uruguay. Next match we have is against Uruguay on Thursday. Uh, it's the battle of the bottom two. Um, my prediction for this one... Um, what, I, I didn't give a predictions video separately on this match, but I'm going to give my predictions now to it. Um, and you guys comment down below and give me your predictions for this. Um, once again, man, just like this Italy game, my expectations are very, very low. I once again could see us losing by 
a couple of goals. I can see us getting a goal in this. I mean, I never, I never had hope that we would score against the Italians, but we did. Um, so I can see us getting a goal against Uruguay. Do I see us winning? No. Do I see us getting out of the group? No. I'm sure it's only a matter of time, and I really hate saying this, and I'm hope I'm wrong. By some miracle, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we're knocked out of the World Cup. I'm sure. I mean, there have been some shocking moments in the World Cup so far. Mexico defeating Cameroon, I didn't think that would happen. Spain losing 5-1 to Netherlands. Holy shit, what the hell happened there? That, that, that's the biggest upset of the World Cup so far. Um, and we've still got more to come. Uh, tonight, Argentina's playing Bosnia. You never know, Bosnia might cause an upset. I mean, don't they have Dzeko or some sort? I don't know. Um, so other than that, this has been my thoughts on the England-Italy match. Um, mostly my rant on the England-Italy match. Um... And yeah, comment down below and give your honest opinion about the game and what you see happening in the next two games against Uruguay and Costa Rica. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like this video, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. Um, 30 subscribers now. Thank you guys very much for that. I appreciate you. Uh, subscribe to Connor Kenway. I wish you guys would really subscribe to him and watch his videos. He makes great good videos on GTA, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag. Uh, support Alex Wilkinson as well, subscribe to him, he makes good videos on um, San Andreas, um, Destruction Derby, and go, pa go to watch his past videos, he makes Destruction Derby videos, vocal videos on Band Rock, I don't know what it's called, but make sure you guys subscribe to him to find out for yourself. So that's pretty much it guys, all I've got to say is peace out my brothers.